Hi everyone, welcome to the part 6 of this series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create your email marketing campaign in Entresoft. Alright, here we are inside the Entresoft. Now, the, way, the place that we actually create our email campaign or marketing campaign is within marketing. So you go ahead and click on marketing and then you choose, on cam you choose campaigns. Once it loads, uh, don't worry if you don't have any campaigns right now. I have uh, what you need to do, you need to start a new campaign. So, uh, the first thing I would like to do is to create a folder so you can actually have uh, keep things uh, nice and tidy. So I click on new folder and I'm gonna name this one my awesome campaign. And let's hit save. As you can see, the campaign can, uh, folder comes here and currently there is no campaign inside this. Alright, let's now click on create a campaign. I would like to name this campaign my awesome follow-up and then we select the folder to be awesome campaign and then we hit save and here we are, we are inside our campaign. Uh, we have a, uh, so the first thing I would like to mention is uh, the campaign configuration. These are the campaign configuration that we have. Uh, you can choose once this campaign is finished where to go. You can uh, select a different campaign so when you have like let's say your follow-ups done then you can send them to a second follow-up or something like that. You can set up your from address uh, like from name and from email but these are actually coming from your uh, settings inside the admin panel so you don't need to worry about that. You can add a lead value, we don't need to worry about that in here. You can also add a tag as well. We're not going to do this in here. We're going to cover tags and triggers in a later session. And we can have an event start day as well. So this is basically uh, the campaign configuration. One thing that you want to uh, uh, pay a little bit of attention to is when you pretty much update anything inside this section, don't, don't forget to hit save, otherwise I've seen a lot of uh, students that we have, they basically change something and they forget to hit uh, save and they just close this one and they think that, okay, that's has been saved. Uh, that's not the case. You always need to click on save. All right. Now we're going to, we need to start actually adding events. So the first event, I'm going to go ahead and click on add events. As you can see, there's tons of different events that you can uh, choose from. We also provide you like an SMS and calling function as well. If you would like to call your uh, customer and basically, or even send them a text message. We have Facebook Messenger, manual SMS, voicemail, pretty much everything. But in this case, I'm just going to uh, focus on email. So let's go ahead and click on email. It brings up our email editor. Uh, this is going to be the email one. You can also name them differently if you would like to. Go ahead and give it a subject. This one is going to be something like, uh, let's say you are, all set for example and then we can say hey and because we are collecting the name of the customers we can actually specifically put their names in how we do that we have something called custom values click on custom values inside the contact we can grab the first name of the contact or the full name in this case I'm just going to say first name so this is a piece of code that will get populated automatically once the platform starts sending an email to that specific contact. So it grabs the contact first name and put it there. So it's going to be for something like, hey Aaron, hey Sia. Uh, by the way, by the way, here is the link to your free ebook. Go ahead and download it now. Something like that. I'm, just, I'm not gonna bore you with like how to uh, basically write your email, put it there, and then thanks your name or signature or whatever that you have. I'm not gonna spend more time on this. Uh, all I want to show you how you can actually put the uh, link inside your email. So you can actually highlight any part that you want. So for example, here is the link. I'm highlighting that. Then you click on the chain icon in zero edit link. As you can see, we have a couple of options in here. You can put a naked link or you can put from a link list. I'm going to choose the link list, but I'm going to tell you 
uh, how you can actually create those because uh, cre create those a little bit later. So the link li list is spe a specific thing for Entresoft. What happens is it can track those link lists and you can actually attach uh, actions to those link lists. So for example, uh, you can say if someone clicks on this specific link, target this specific function. So for example, if someone clicks on uh, my ebook, then put them outside this campaign and put them in a new campaign for this for only which is actually for people that already downloaded the ebook so you want to specifically for example send specific emails to those people and ask them what they thought about the ebook and how they can actually uh, proceed with the ebook if they have any question and those kind of things so uh, basically the sky is the sky is the limit you can do whatever you want with this but that's the main reason that we have uh, the link list in here so in this case let's say I'm going to send them to the ebook and as you can see it populates a piece of code in here you shouldn't touch this and it uh, gets actually automatically updated once uh, the system starts sending the email out to the users now let's go ahead and click on ok as you can see we have a nice preview in here that gets updated you can also te uh, test it for yourself so you just put a from address a valid from address and a valid to address to test the email and see how it shows up on uh, different devices and don't worry about the custom time but in in an essence you can actually set okay this email only needs to be out on these days or these times so you can do that as well but for now we're just gonna uh, have that turned off once you're done and happy with your email you go ahead and click on save and here we go you have your very first email now there are a couple of things that you want to understand inside of this page so as you can see it says send after so usually you want to send your uh, first email which is your like a thank you or like welcome email as like immediately as the user sign up so what you do is you can click on send after and click on immediately and as you can see this gets updated so this get triggered as soon as someone subscribes to your list and they're gonna receive this email now let's say well most of the campaigns they're not gonna have one email so I'm gonna go ahead and just click on add a new event and then add our second email this time I'm not gonna bother typing I'm just gonna put uh, some stuff in here and just hit save and once we're done now we want to send this guy one day for example after this email how we do that click on send after and then we put the minutes change it to days and we make it one as you can see this gets updated so what's gonna happen is basically uh, once I sub subscribe to your list what uh, Entresoft is going to do is going to send this first email immediately and after that one day after that it's going to send the second email and then if you have anything else in the uh, in your campaign it's going to actually continue to send in those emails the uh, the last thing that you want to do when you are finished with setting up your campaign is on the top right you want to make sure that you click on draft and you want to make sure that you makes it publish that means that is up and running that's pretty much it this is how simple it is to set up your marketing campaign in Entresoft and as you can see we didn't need to get out of the platform at all everything is in one place and everything works seamlessly and amazing uh, once again if you want to learn more and have access to the uh, other videos inside this series that are uh, for more advanced or not just more advanced just more details and more insight inside the software and other courses make sure that you click on the join button and join our membership group I also will offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for my members as well so if you would like to learn more about all of this and how all of this works and can help you start your online business or even build upon what you have already done make sure that you check that out once again please do make sure that you like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and also tap on that bell icon so every time i post a new video you'll get notified thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye